Hi everyone, bonjour tout le monde, hola amigos, welcome to a new video. So you maybe saw I um, created a poll uh, this week to ask in which language I should do my videos. As you know, sometimes I do them in French, sometimes in English. So he all decided to choose English, some French people don't understand. Désolé les gars, um, je vous promets, je mets les sous-titrages, il suffit de les activer ici en bas dans l'écran et ainsi vous pouvez suivre mes vidéos tranquillement. So, today a uh, little update on my dynamic turn indicators. As you all know, I was one of the very first in Europe to install those dynamic turn indicators. But as it appears, they are faulty. I think because I had one of the very first sets, and they were way too overpowered. This is really disturbing uh, to drive with this on the car. So I already got my new set, as you can see the other way is doing this as well. Uh, of course, it's the same procedure as the, the first time, but this time I will film it and not only uh, show photos. I will try so <laughs> because I will need both hands, but uh, I, will, I will do my best. You can see I've got the smoked version now, uh, before the only the white version existed. And uh, quite rapidly after they uh, created the smoked version as well, which should do really fine on my pearl white. Uh, Kashkai. As you may remember, the first version of the um, dynamic turn lights came with two female connectors, so you wasn't able to uh, connect them properly, and I had to uh, cut the wires and solder them together. A lot of people said that that was one of the reasons why they wouldn't really like to do this uh, mod, because they are afraid to solder on the car. Um, other thing, I helped out the um, Jugend store on AliExpress to, f to uh, fabricate the male version of this connector so um, I lost one of these and uh, that was quite of a problem because afterwards I wasn't able to um, reinstall my uh, my original lights on the car so um, well I had to be a little bit creative myself and um, it happens that I still had uh, uh, some IKEA LED uh, cables lying around and I uh, modified them, the four pin connector to a two pin connector, like this one. It looks quite alike. And here you go. I have some new connectors. I will test them um, right now if it works. And if it works, I will of course insulate this part with some uh, silicon, as, as they did on the dynamic version. And uh, then they are good to go. I also cut off the connector on this cable as I don't have a connector anyway but it comes with uh, this one now which you should clip easily together with the original uh, cable like you can see here they fit perfectly together we have to um, take the mirrors all the way down as far as we can do the same for the other side like this and there you go And now we're good to go. So now we gain a small axis inside the mirror. And thing is to unclip on both sides, there and there. Really, really hard to see. There they are. There, another side, another one. So there you go. Uh, lift this clip with the tool that's provided with uh, the dynamic turn lights. And repeat it on the other side as well, and it come off downwards. So there it is. Believe me guys, it is one of the hardest parts. Uh, there's another one that I'll show you in a minute. But um, there it came off. Now you can or disconnect it to be sure and put it somewhere safe or hang it just around. But uh, I will disconnect it. Okay, next you want to unscrew these three uh, screws with a Torx screwdriver to gain access to the inside in order to remove the, the cover. So with all the three screws undone, you can take the motor off. One thing I have to say, I don't do uh, behind the scenes normally, but uh, you should know every job comes with some kind of hassle that you did it foresee. This time it was one of my uh, Torx screws that um, completely lost its profile. No any, any chance to, uh, to get it out other way than uh, just drill it and uh, by chance there's still a bit uh, sticking out so I can use a, a pair of pliers to uh, remove the, the rest of the screw and use a new one. So with that handled we now have to remove 
a push, better to say, those clips, those white clips are nice to see on my white pro cash guy. Yeah, so you can lift them to push the cover away, but be very careful because um, if you pull too hard, it may crack over here. So do it, but uh, careful. So I'm already this far, as you can see, it's just holding up for just one. Uh, very hard to see, but if you look in here, you should be able to lift your last clip. And there you go, it came up. I'm removing the old connect, the old uh, indicator right now, but uh, I'm cutting the wires and um, isolating them, for instance, to uh, be sure that they didn't get in touch at any time. Removing the indicator itself is really easy. Just unscrew both screws and it uh, should come off. And there you go. As I told you, I wanted to test if this new uh, homemade connector worked as it should. So I connect it uh, quickly like this. And as you can see, it does. I labeled them as well. As you can see, they are both similar wires and uh, it should be connected to uh, a green and uh, brown so I labeled them for the day that I should connect them there's no doubt how to connect them and there you go I uh, connected it like this to test luckily because I uh, thought the red wire would go to green and it is uh, the other way around red goes to brown and black goes to green so as you can see it looks really nice uh, i have to say it looks even better than on the um, on the original white version you can remove this one now as well and uh, yeah i'm really happy with the result so i will connect it uh, better and waterproof of course and uh, we'll put the cover back on and uh, do the other side as well all you guys out there that don't like soldering uh, you just use this one these uh, connectors are waterproof just you don't even have to strip the wire you just put them inside use a pair of pliers to uh, push the connector down and they are sealed with silicon so they are completely waterproof and you're good to go so now they are both mounted and tested and uh, installed as they should we're going to put everything back together again so there they are installed nicely and they work as a charm. So I'm really happy to be able driving again with a decent turn light. I admit, even um, when they're not indicating, they look much better in black, black and white. Uh, should have done it before. So that's all for now, folks. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.